Already getting pumped for the arrival of Vin Diesel's new cinematic universe, we've gone and rounded up the best rumors and spoilers the internet has to offer. These are just some of the leaked details surrounding the Bloodshot movie. According to Geeks Worldwide, the new Bloodshot is going to be something of a take on the classic revenge tale. Vin Diesel plays Ray Garrison, a Marine who, after he and his wife are murdered, is resurrected as a super soldier. When Garrison's erased memories return, he sets out to exact revenge on the man responsible for his and his wife's deaths. Bloodshot is based on a comic book from publisher Valiant Comics, which may explain why at first glance the character seems reminiscent of other comic heroes who have been adapted to the big screen, such as Deadpool, Winter Soldier, and Wolverine. But former editor-in-chief of Valiant and co-creator of the character Bob Layton assured Deadline in 2018 that this is a unique project. He insisted that he and Bloodshot writer Kevin Van Hook worked very, very hard to give Bloodshot a voice that was very different from those other characters. Layton also said Bloodshot's filmmakers have approached a film with the understanding that audiences know comic films. He explained, The filmmakers are embracing the current movie-going audience's knowledge of comic book storytelling and have produced something very fresh and subversive to the genre. At the beginning of 2018, DMG Entertainment, the $6 billion media company which co-produced 2012's Looper and 2013's Iron Man 3, took full control of Valiant Entertainment. DMG founder Dan Mintz announced, Our priority is to build upon Valiant's vast universe of characters from a filmmaker's perspective. I'm excited to immerse Valiant's fans well beyond the stories we tell cinematically, from publishing to gaming to theme parks and beyond. DMG and Valiant originally set up a partnership deal in 2015, which included plans for both films and television, so it isn't surprising that Bloodshot is tabbed as only the beginning of a future franchise for the company. Deadline reported that DMG, Valiant, and Sony had made plans for a five-film series that would include Valiant's Bloodshot and Harbinger, as well as a shared crossover film called Harbinger Wars. In a 2017 interview with Den of Geek, newly tabbed Bloodshot screenwriter Eric Heiserer spoke on the importance of not relying on related films or sequels when approaching a franchise film. Heiserer, who's also been hired to write the Harbinger script, said he wanted to focus on the films as though they were self-contained stories. He dished, My goal was to make a great Harbinger script and a great Bloodshot script. And if audiences love those stories and we were honored enough to come back and revisit those characters, great. In his interview with Deadline, Bob Layton expanded on the idea that Bloodshot wouldn't just be another comic franchise film, saying, They're really focusing on Vin's character, and it really seems to be a more character-driven movie, rather than just a lot of big explosions. Explaining how comics films tend to rely too heavily on third-act fight scenes, Layton said the key to a good superhero film is to keep the focus on the character, as opposed to making it a, quote, giant roller coaster ride. In July 2018, sources told Key Collector Comics that two villains would appear in Bloodshot. The first to be identified was the computer-obsessed Axe, who made his debut in Harbinger issue 3. His thirst for technology would eventually lead him to seek out Bloodshot in order to steal his nanite-enhanced blood. The rap reported that Fantastic Four's Toby Kebbell will be playing the character. At the same time, the rap confirmed that Game of Thrones actor Johannes Hoker Johannesson has been added to the cast as a second villain, although who exactly he would be playing was still unknown. According to IMDb, however, Johannesson is listed as portraying a character named Nick Barris. Since it's been established that the film's premise will differ from the comics, it's still hard to say who exactly Nick Barris is in the Bloodshot universe. When the rap first reported that Vin Diesel was in the talks to star in Bloodshot in January 2018, the film had been described as an R-rated take on the comic adaptation that would be tonally and aesthetically influenced by high-concept sci-fi blockbusters of the late 80s, including Robocop, Terminator, and Total Recall. That R-rating seemed to mean that Bloodshot will be following in the footsteps of other recent non-traditional comic films like Logan and Deadpool. That does it! Oh, Canada! That's not good. More recently, however, it looked as though Bloodshot could potentially be going for a PG-13 rating. As noted by Discussing Film, which shared the film's first full synopsis in March 2019, a PG-13 rating would allow Sony to reach a wider audience, as well as a consistent wider market for the studio's planned Valiant cinematic universe. Since the character is known for its hard-R persona, the decision to give the movie a more family-friendly edge may wind up backfiring for Sony. For fans familiar with the Bloodshot comic series, Ray Garrison's look is pretty unmistakable. Pale skin, black hair, red eyes. 
He also has a penchant for running around without a shirt on. So when Vin Diesel posted the first image from the film to his Instagram account in July 2019, it wasn't exactly what fans were expecting. The image, which shows a pretty regular-looking Diesel in a camouflage jacket, aviator shades, and without any hair, is a far cry from the bloodshot of the comics. Diesel captioned the pic, Ray Garrison is a central character in the Valiant comic universe, and for me personally, one of the most complex characters I've been fortunate enough to play. Hope to make you proud, hashtag bloodshot. Of course, it's entirely possible possible that this first image is of Rey before his Force Nanite procedure, and that in the coming months we'll be able to see more of the character from Valiant's pages, but it's certainly a start. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more Looper videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and to the bell so you don't miss a single one.